Hey BFFs. I got our chicken salad. And I got some sliced cucumbers and pears. And I got a little tortilla and a mini organic watermelon. Let's drop and give thanks, Heavenly Father. We praise and thank you for this food about to receive. I pray it's clean, safe, and healthy. God bless the chicken. May it rest. May it nourish the body. I'm thankful to you and unto Mother Earth, the beautiful Mother Earth, the beautiful sun, and the beautiful rain. We give praise and thanks for what it provides for us on this dear planet. In your name we praise and thank you again. All right. This meal here is a 90-10 split because this is all fruits and vegetables except for the chicken tenders. And I got this tortilla I fried in avocado oil. And the chicken tenders were fried in a little bit of avocado oil as well. But the majority of this meal, or the bulk of it, is fruits and vegetables, which are alkaline. So it makes it a 90. The chicken and the little thin tortilla, one tortilla, it's a 90-10 split. Also, um, this is my first meal of the day. And it will be my only one. Mm. I was eating some on some of the pears, and they are really good. They're sweet and juicy. And I think I do have like, not I don't think, I know, have two ounces of apple cider vinegar ranch. And it's organic. I just got finished jump roping. <clears throat> if, if you have not seen it, if you want to check it out, it's there. I must be craving bread because this right here tastes yummy.
I got red peppers, <clears throat> orange peppers, jalapeno peppers. I got grated, grated baby kale. I didn't, I didn't expect it to come out grated, but it, that's the way it came out. So it's like confetti, but it tastes good. It's just vegetable laden chicken tenders. I got celery. And also, if you haven't seen the Nama Juicer, you can check that out too. If you haven't seen it. <clears throat> Last couple of days, I didn't even mug bomb because I did not eat anything. Like yesterday and the day before. Yeah, I didn't eat anything. I'm just now eating something. My favorite side to chew on is my right side, but hopefully I get the chew on it.
It's so juicy. It's so juicy. It's so juicy. It was lovely. Lord, but the lady. Can I get a lovely? Can I get a love with the lady? Simply lovely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hope that watermelon set, watermelon was pretty good. As I was sitting here enjoying this dish,
<clears throat> I was just thinking about August Alcina's interview with Angela Yee. Ain't nothing wrong with my eyes. I did that on purpose. I'm like, really, Angela? I, you know, I used to be a host. I used to, I used to talk to different artists, you know, and our society is, it seems to me, to be plagued with wanting to, I don't know, I don't know, the dark side of things. I don't know, y'all. I just don't know. But she, she, her vibe, her eyes, her vibe, her energy. Her setup question, it just did not sit right with me. And Aug is so sweet. I wish I could have interviewed him. Because I'm like, why would you? And for those, some of those, you guys, any of my besties, they don't know what I'm talking about. Like, what is she talking about? I'm talking about a singer. I heard his name is August Alcina. I call him Aug. He was interviewed by um, she 106 in the park. He's one of the hosts out of New York. And this is just the way she asked the question. And when she asked it, the timing of it all about Jada Pinkett and him, um, the young man, he does R and B. I think he has one of, one of the most beautiful vocals for R&B as of the date. And He's from Louisiana. I believe the young man is still in his 20s, like mid-20s now. Maybe 24, 25. I liked him since the first time I seen when he came out like six, seven years ago. Um, I reached out to his team to see if I could get him interviewed on Hip Hop Talks. But he was on tour. <clears throat> so. I can't communicate with him. And he communicated back, very kind, very thoughtful young man. And, um, but I wasn't able to get him on the show which was fine you know either i can or i can't if i can i just can't i move on but you know he's one of my him and keisha core are my favorite artists because they truly know what pain is and with august alcina his brother was killed just before he made it and then he ended up taking care of his brother's three daughters which are his nieces and um, his brother's baby's mother, which are the girls, his mom. And then, <clears throat> and uh, you know, you have to watch your mental health, you know, when it's a bunch of tragedy going around you. You know, you have to watch your state of your health, your, your spirit, your mind, your body, because um, you can go to a place where 
you see, it can take you very low because of loss of loved ones. And on that note, the girl's mother died. So he has his three nieces. They're his legal daughters. Um, he has to be the one to take care of them, provide for them, look after the bill. And they're small, they're young, uh, like 10 and under. I don't even think the oldest one is 12. I think she's only like maybe 10. When they were younger, you know, they were really young when his uh, brother was killed. And now the mother, she passes away in his arms. And I felt so bad for, for August. And in the meantime, you know, he has his own health issues, you know, with his eyes, like one of his eyes is, um, he's blind in and the other one is partial and he underwent surgery to, you know, save what little sight that he has left. And then after that, from all the stress and the anxiety, heavy, the heaviness, he, like he said, his body shut down and, um, which can happen. Your flesh can hold so much heaviness, weight, that if you can't, you know, get that off of you, your nervous system, which becomes anxiety, mental disorder, psychosis, it becomes a lot of things that you can slip into if you're not careful. So he did slip into, I guess, um, it, it ended up developing a disease of some sort, which affected his liver. His liver wasn't functioning. I guess it shut his body down. He collapsed and he was in a coma. So as he was learning how to rewalk and, and re-talk, you know, his nieces are like, you know, when are you coming home? And I don't think he, he I think according to what my understanding, he didn't even um, tell his nieces because he's like, I, you know, I got to protect them now. I can't let them see that, okay, now it's their, you know, the only parent figure they have now, his life is in question. And um, that's why I would have loved to interview August Alcina. <clears throat> he's very well spoken. He, he's learned a lot early. And he and I love the clips of Tupac in his documentary because I've been watching that. Because um, I'm, I'm, I know August put the clips in there. Personally, he's chose those because he, he can relate to the plight that Tupac had went through. And... Um, um, You know, it's a lot for such a young person, under 25, to have, under 30, to have to deal, like, blow by blow by blow, different family issues, which we all have issues, but, you know, back-to-back -back losses of young people, like he said, they young people, they had their whole lives to live, you know, and they're gone. And and, and one thing that I love about August Alcina, <clears throat> and he coined himself, I don't know if this is something that he created or he heard it or read it from someplace else, but he said that, um, and I think it's his, authentically his, organically his, you know, somebody's got to survive. Somebody has to live and survive. So I think that was e e e profound. And, um, and like he said, as he cried about his sister, you know, dying in his arms in front of him, um, and then he thinks about his own fate and questions whether he will make it. Cause he, like he said, he stayed out of his own mouth. He, he honestly thought he would, it was his time, but he's still with us. And he has three beautiful daughters slash nieces to raise. Um, I'm, you know, I'm rooting for the, the kid. You know, the youngster, he's got a, he's got a, had a lot on his plate. And hopefully, you know, he said his mom is, is now understanding and seeing more. And she sees it from a different perspective instead of inside, she's seeing it from outside, looking in, which is always helpful because sometimes you can be so close to a person, you just don't get it. But then when you step away from that person and you're looking like every other spectator, then something tends to click. Okay, I get it. You know, it's like people, they don't know what they lost until it's gone. I think Michael Jackson sung about that. Can it be I stayed away too long? Did I leave your mind when I was gone? It's not my thing trying to get back. This time, baby, let me tell you where I'm at. I want to be where you are. Anywhere you are. 
home. I gotta, gotta be where you are. I don't know if it was that song. No, I think I sung the wrong song. Hey, where you are. It was, uh, and Michael Jackson did sing one similar to that. Like, uh, now she's out of my life. And I don't know whether to laugh or cry. And I don't know whether to live or die. And we come so behind. I don't, let's see, he had another one, I think. It's, I want you back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want you back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, 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 Take one second look. Oh, baby, give me one more chance. Show me a little love again. Could have been that song. But yeah, people don't know what they lost until it's gone. And then they want it back. And it's like, you should have cherished it while you had it. Because God is always testing. You all, you're being tested. Pear is so um uh, that pear was on point <clears throat> full of juices. So good. These are loaded with water. Cucumbers are built for you. They're cleansing and full of vitamins. So are pears. Mmm. Thing tastes good. I got the one that had the, and the lines were bigger. So let's taste it. If not, I'm taking it back. Cause I like mine sweet and crunchy. Baby, 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 
Oh no, no soggy part. Sorry y'all, I just, I can't do sog. Let me take a piece out of here. That centerpiece was a little more crunchy, but it's not sweet. And it's got a lot of soggy pockets. So guess what? I'm throwing it in the freezer. I'm going to freeze it. Taking it back to Whole Foods and be like, it's an L for me. <clears throat> I took an L on that. And I like my money back because you got to sell me something that I can eat. And if I can't eat it, then it's not worth my money. Same time same time a dollar is a whole dollar i need my watermelon to be a whole watermelon ready to go sweet crunchy and juicy no soggy pockets no bland watery just pure water flavor no <clears throat> i need some sugar some natural god-given sugar all right y'all much love i didn't have a smoothie today because I was supposed to have this, so I'm going to have to make me a smoothie. But make sure y'all get y'all living lean. And you can save 10% when you use your BFFORG10. 10% off the price of the product. And it will be free shipping. Because I think $24 and over, $25 and over, it's free shipping. And or if you have Prime like I do, you'll get the two-day free shipping automatically. <clears throat> which I paid my bill today, which was $5.99, I think it was. Either $6.49 or $5.99, one or the other. I think $5.99. Yeah. And um, so happy 4th of July, Independence Day. I should have did uh, some hot dogs and chips and stuff. I, st I still might. The day has just begun. Because it's 3 in the morning. Yes, it is. It's 3 o'clock a.m., 4th of July. The sun is not up for the next three and a half hours. I don't know. I like I love the night. Just give me the night. All night. Tonight. Give me the night. Everybody. Alright. Also, if you need any lip balms, I have the organic lip balms. Let me know. And please share, share, share. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the organic channel. I hope you subscribe. So therefore you can learn about the organic Terrian way of living. Also the book, I'm writing a book. I'm currently writing a book. It will be available September 24th. The organic Terrian lifestyle, uh, eating lifestyle, which also will teach you and guide you with uh, the alkaline and acidic splits. So you know exactly what's in front of you and how to select your foods, your fresh fruits and vegetables, all of the organic, of course, all your lean meats are organic, of course. And if you don't have access to that, then do go with all natural as an alternative. So it is organitarian, it is flexible in that area because some people in some places in some cities and some towns don't have a ton of organic. So you have to get what you can get or either move to where it's abundant, which, you know, I'm contemplating on that myself. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, I wish I could move to a, a city because the current city I'm in, I love it. <clears throat> this town is, 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 is repping America in such a beautiful way. So shout out to my city, you know, Conway, Arkansas. So we gotta give it up. Um, I just see beautifulness everywhere. People treat each other equally, respectively. Um, yeah. Our police department, shout out to our police department. They're not out here wilding out and clowning. So they're respectful, they're caring, 
you know, if you call, you need them, they're there for you. And um, they listen and um, they respect you in a return. They do demand respect, of course. And we give it, you know, because they give it. You know, they're not saying, okay, you respect us and, you know, how these other places throughout the United States are misbehaving. No, it doesn't work like that. So, again, I salute Conway for, for showing America how America should be. Because I see families living side by side, all creeds, color, religion. Everyone smiles. Everyone's welcoming. Everyone, you know, you get some folks that just misbehave and they know they misbehave and they'll quickly say I'm sorry so and that's what it requires you to you know repent you know be right then and there on the spot you know you know what you're doing so therefore I mean if you're in the right then run with it if you're not then check it at the door so um you know and that's that's you know that's my philosophy as well so all right I'm full comfortably I gotta find something else. I'm gonna probably whip me up a smoothie or something. Or maybe I'll just drink some apple juice. Oh no, better yet, I have me some tea. I'll drink me some herbal tea mixed with my Rugos tea. That's what I'm gonna make me. Have some yummy tea. And I think I got some a piece of hidden chocolate around here. I see I'll throw over some chocolate and I'm like, give me a minute. I think I got some peaks. What else is around? There's always something to munch on it in, in reaching distance. So, that ain't. All right, y'all. Lots of love and hugs. And thank y'all so, so much. And if you have a Facebook, please share my vlogs and videos and mukbangs on your Facebook for me, please. And um, there's mukbang groups there. If you could be kind enough to put them in the mukbang groups as well. And then that way we can keep growing this thing. And because there's so much I want to do. And uh, even though I'm going back to work soon, so I'm going to still keep cranking out the videos. I'm going to keep working out and preparing for what's to come for either September or October or both months. If I'm able to prepare for that for, uh, this month and in the month of August. And I hope y'all jump in and, and, and track it and do it with me if you can. And if you can't, then do it when you can. All right. Lots of love and hugs. And I will see y'all in the next mukbang or vlog. I'll see y'all soon. All right. Ciao, ciao.